Hi, I'm Adam York, the writer, director, and producer of the Comic Book Writers DVD series, an award-winning and ongoing series of interviews and looks into the lives of contemporary comic book writers, creators, and illustrators. You can find some of our products in your local comic book shop, Amazon.com, as well as on my website, ComicBookWritersDVD.com. Well, a few months ago, we started production on program about Mr. Ethan Crane. We've done some bigger productions and we've expected bigger problems when you're dealing with somebody like a Bob Kirkman, a Jeff Johns. But we didn't have any problems. Everybody in, who surrounded them, you know, was very gracious and wanted to speak to us and had nothing but the nicest things to say. Ethan Crane He's a monster, and should be treated as such. Anyways, by the end, we were just putting tape over the running lights and telling people where we weren't even filming. It was kind of disgusting. Anyways, we couldn't finish a product like that, so here it is for you to see. Check it out. Everybody signed the releases anyways. Fuck it. Oh, and we're accepting pre-orders for our Matt Fraction DVD, which will hopefully be out next quarter. Thanks. Gordon, All right, what's your date again? May? Huh? 29. When is that? Saturday. Saturday. Make it a comic book. It's like, it's like a salad. You know, the whole process, it's one big salad. Now, what do you see here? What's the biggest part of this salad? The lettuce. It's the lettuce. It's the lettuce. And you know, this is good lettuce too. It's not that white trash iceberg stuff. This is this is good lettuce. But that is the biggest part of the salad. That's the writer. All this other stuff. The artist, you know, it's the you know, it's the berries. Artist. You know. Artist. Anchors be these nut pecan things. Colorist, letterist, cheese. Is it there? It's a small part of the salad. Nice to have. You know, you really don't need it. Holding it all together is the editor. That's the plate. You know, with uh. With the help of the writer, the writer and the editor both are the play, holding the entire thing together. <clears throat> Mike Carlin? No, oh, I think texted from 1995. You know, I love the fans, I really do. You know, they. They've given me my lifestyle. They've, they've bought my house for me, my car, my jet skis, plural, my clothing. I've seen Asia. I've seen Europe. I've traveled all throughout Canada, all because of them. And, and you know, I love them. I really do. You know, and the love they have for me is incredible. And, you know, all because I've spent the last 15 years working and typing all this crap out. You know, I mean, they want me to write their favorite characters. They beg me to get on their favorite books. And it's just, you know, it's a great feeling. But, you know, I mean, just between you and me, you know, most mainstream superhero comic fans are just fucking man children. I mean, they're just, they're closed minded, they're backwards thinking, and they're worse than conservatives. And I got a lot of money, and I don't like conservative thinking. It's whole. Nostalgic, everything was better than blah 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 blah. blah. And that's yeah. I've never bought that bullshit about Call of the Degrees of comic book readers. You know how comic book readers have a greater percentage of college degrees and education than non comics readers. It's just it's bullshit. You know, they have a better chance of not losing their virginity until they're 30. And if you're 45 years old and you're worried that Aquaman isn't in his orange uniform, Outfit, costume, you know, that, that he was created in. Just, just gotta, gotta grow up. 
I mean, you know that. You know, just between you and me, that's like, that's like, that's like telling a reporter off the record, right? I mean, this isn't gonna, this isn't gonna end up, you know, in the in the pieces. Can I have those? Not yet. And. Oh, great. I'm not Somebody told Stanley how to text. Too much people. I thought we're stupid. Those are stupid. You know, a lot of it is what you're exposed to early on. Like we would do a lot of road trips, our family. My dad had a Bob Dylan's Greatest Hits cassette. And you know, uh, cassette is like an MP3 player, but it was just the songs on like a, a plastic little uh, thing with magical tape that would hold the music. But anyway, you know, it was the, you've seen, it was with the puffy Bob Dylan silhouette hair thing and it all the hits. And we just burned a hole in that fucking thing. And, you know, to this day, I can't stand Dylan. You know, I heard all those mainstream hits, those, you know, those popular hits, and it's just, you know, maybe if my dad had a real album, I would be a Dylan fan today. But your mainstream comic book readers, they go in the opposite direction. The stuff they read when they're 10, 11, 12, 15, 16, that's the shit they want to read for the rest of their lives. And they will read that shit for the rest of their lives until they get married, divorced, die or breed themselves into poverty. That's the only way people stop reading the shit I write. <laughs> Jeff Jones is such a saucy little whore. <laughs>